Today it's all about the Strymon Zelza. Let's check it out. Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and that's right, we're going to look at the new phaser from Strymon. It's called the Zelza. And I want to let you know that Strymon reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a demo unit. So I, of course, said, heck yeah. So just so you know, as you can see, the Zelza is built on Strymon's square pedal platform. And it actually is comprised of two different phaser circuits. There's a four-stage phaser, let me get the numbers right there, and a six-stage phaser. It's also capable of stereo, which is really cool for a phaser. And it also has a very robust MIDI implementation. You're not seeing any preset knobs or anything on the pedal itself, but if you're connecting it with a MIDI controller, you can store up to 300 presets. Let's talk about the four-stage phaser first. So as you would expect, there are four stages or four filters, if you will. So that's what phasing is all about, right? It is a filter that is modulated by a low frequency oscillator, or maybe it's oscillated by an LFO. In any case, you'll hear the classic phaser sweep up and down as I play some of the four stage phaser. Here we go. Yeah, that's really nice. Let me go ahead and bring the speed down so you can hear with a slow speed. I like slow speed phasers. Ooh. And you can change the time of the oscillation from, I think it's 0.1 second to 10 seconds, if I recall. That's pretty quick. And then the slowest uh, cycle is 10 seconds. All right, pretty cool. Now there's a little three position switch in the middle. I've got it set to classic. So this is kind of your classic phaser. Let me go ahead and bring that depth up and you can hear that. It's classic, truly. It's really clean and kind of pristine sounding as a phaser. Now let's go ahead and check out the second position. And this is a barber pole style phaser. So it has an LFO that is, is either continually rising or continually descending. And the default, I believe, is rising. You can switch to either direction. Here's what that sounds like. You guys know that sound, don't you? Way back in the day, I had one of the old mythical Mutron biphases, our band did, and it was a really pretty big unit. And it did this barber pole style phaser in spades, and so does the Zelza. Make it a little less obvious there. The third setting for the four stage phaser is an envelope setting. And this is kind of cool. It reacts to the way you play. Good for really kind of funky stuff. 
you see in this case, the depth controls the, uh, the threshold of the envelope. <laughs> Now, I don't have a bass on me right now, but this would sound really good for a funky style bass. All right, it's time to hop over to the six stage phaser. And instead of four circuits or four filters, it has six filters. Makes sense, right? Here's a basic sound of the six stage phaser. <laughs> Yeah, it's a different sound, isn't it, from the uh, four-stage phaser. Let me go ahead and bring the depth and the speed up a little bit. Yeah, really nice. Now, there are a few controls here. You saw me change the speed and the depth, and that's similar to the four-stage. The uh, six stage also has a resonance switch, which increases an emphasis on the resonance of the filter. I've got it set to off right now. Let me go ahead and set it to mild. Let's set it to strong. kind of cool. Now there's a little bit of magic, at least for me, in the six stage phaser, and that is all in the voice knob. So what happens here is as you kind of sweep through that voice knob, it actually, if I recall from Strymon, Pete from Strymon, it actually changes the timing of the filters so that by the time you get beyond 12 o'clock, you're actually getting into flanging and chorusing territory. So let me go ahead. I'm going to play a little bit and sweep that knob and let's see what happens. <laughs> should be in flanging territory. Yeah, that is flanging-like, isn't it? Let me go ahead and slow that speed down so we can hear this slow flange. Now, if I turn on some distortion, you'll hear the flange even more accentuated. Here we go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's go ahead and keep her going with some more chorusing types of effects. I've got it set to three o'clock. <laughs> This is a really cool feature of the Zelza. What this means is if you're a little more phaser focused in your sounds, but you need the occasional flanging and chorusing sound to be able to add into the mix, you've got it right here in one pedal. This might allow you to reduce your pedal board footprint to just this pedal instead of this pedal and a chorus or a flanger. But wait, that's not all. Not only do we have the two phaser sides, 
we can combine them. And Strymon allows you to set these two phasers up to run either in series, where the six-stage phaser goes into the four-stage phaser, or you can run them in parallel, where they both run through, the signal runs through both of them at the same time and comes out through both the right and left stereo outputs or just the mono output, depending on how you're running, or you can run them in split mode. And so what happens then is, if you're in stereo, the four stage phaser runs through one output and the six stage runs through the second output. I've got it set up to the default setting of six stage into four stage. So let's check that out a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what we got going with the four stage phaser first. Yeah, so nice slow phaser sweep. Now let me go ahead and add in the six stage phaser. So that's, the signal's gonna hit six stage first, and then it's gonna go into that slow sweep of the four stage. So you get the warble of the six stage phaser, but it's followed by that long sweep from the four stage phaser. You can get some really complex phasing combinations going with these two together. So how does this phaser sound with other effects? You've already heard a little bit of distortion. Let me go ahead and turn that back on and let's listen to it a little more in depth with both the four and six stage phasers going. <laughs> That's really nice. Now let me bring the speed down a little bit more and I'm gonna flip it into kind of flange mode. Like that. Now, let's try a little chorus action. We'll bring the speed up just a bit and give it a bit more depth. <laughs> going next, right? Ambient Guitar Channel, Chords of Orion. Yes, delay. Here's a little bit of dotted eighth action, clean guitar with both these four and six stage phaser. Phaser is running in front of the delay. Now, let's go ahead and add a little distortion in there and see what we get. Thank you. 
So there you go. A quick look at the Strymon Zelza. What do y'all think? Drop a comment below. Also, if you've got a favorite phaser that's been your trusty companion, drop a comment below and let me know what you love. Here's a link to a Zelza performance that I recently posted, and I'll catch all of you on the next video.